Am I alive? Or is this what happens when you die? It's so dark, I can't see anything. <laughs> nah, I don't think I'm dead just yet. So, am I still in the Great Orcus Labyrinth? I fell a long way. I couldn't have gone so deep that I'm in an unexplored area. Right. Either way, I need to start going up. There's gotta be some stairs somewhere. This level is huge. Not like any of the chambers before. A rabbit? All the way down here? I thought monsters were supposed to be tougher the further down you went. Crap, never mind. That bunny's a nightmare beast. It spotted me. of mana creates a liquid that begins to flow from the stone. This liquid is called holy water and has the ability to heal any injury and dispel any curse. <sighs> I've been visiting the royal library to try to get smarter so I can actually help the rest of my classmates, but I don't know how much the knowledge I gained will help me survive if I can't fight for myself. <sighs> Though. It's way tougher than the behemoth. I never should have entered this stupid labyrinth. Someone help me. Listen up. You'll watch each other's backs in the labyrinth. Help your brethren out no matter what. Got it?
just have to work harder and keep training. If I were you, I'd use every second of downtime I had to level up my skills. <gasps> what is that thing? Look how shiny it is. Huh. Oh, yeah. We've stumbled upon a glance crystal. Larger ones like this are rare. Impressive. Apparently, they're pretty popular stones for engagement rings. It's beautiful. Well, then, sounds like something I should get my hands on. Get back here! Don't do that on your own before we've even checked if it's safe! <laughs>
just Saki. It's the middle of the night. I'm sorry, but... But I don't want you to go with us when we train down in the labyrinth. It's just... I had a terrible nightmare, and I... I think something bad will happen. Oh, hold on. What? Yes, we were in a dark place, and... You wouldn't say anything when I called to you. There was just this silence. Then... After that... Go on. You disappeared. I see. In that case, will you protect me? <gasps> My synergist job is super commonplace and unfortunately not really well suited to combat. But you're a priest, Shidasaki. So then, if I do get hurt, you can just use your powers to heal me. Okay, I promise I'll protect you. You'll be safe. Nobody's going to rescue me all the way down here. So what am I supposed to do? Why should I have to suffer such a horrible fate? What did I do? I don't deserve this. I was brought to this world in some crazy turn of events. And my classmates betrayed me. The monsters here are too powerful for me to fight. I'm trapped in a metaphorical and literal pit of despair. So what next? I want to survive and go home. Which makes anything between me and my goal the enemy. That's right. If something's in the way, if anyone's keeping me from my destination, I'll kill him. I'm so thirsty. Hungry too. Right. I don't care if I have to eat a damn monster. I'll frickin' do it! some new skills. Let's see here. I guess mana manipulation is exactly what it sounds like. Huh. I didn't even need to say the spell. Who knew that choking down monster meat would do this? It's like a training shortcut. Lightning field. That move. Whoa. Check it out. The 
the man is turning redder, just like the monsters. I can't shoot it like that two-tailed wolf did, but if I can manipulate the voltage and not overdo it... <sighs> smells like crap, and it's better than eating the meat raw again. I've got food and water. What I need now is some kind of weapon. Nice. I can identify a rock just by grabbing it now. I should be able to make something useful if I implement that the right way. Yeah. Tower stone. A solid black rock. Hardness ranked at 8, toughness 8. Strong against physical force and heat, but weak against the cold. Fragile when frozen. Add heat to bond with components. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Blast rock. A flammable stone. Can explode when pressure and heat are applied in a confined space. Sounds like gunpowder. With enough volume and pressure, explosions rival the highest tier of fire magic spells. And that's how you make bullets. A six-shot revolver and ammo, both crafted from extremely tough tower stone. Each bullet packed with blast rock powder. Now at a dash of lightning field. Give my new best friend a good name. Huh. I've got it. You're Donner. <laughs> this meat's not any tastier. Now to see if it was worth it. Good. My stats increased. Looks like whenever I eat a monster I haven't had before, the numbers go up a lot. Maybe these new skills will help me find a way out of this place. Quick step. That's the teleportation. Aerodynamics. That's how it pushed off in midair. Now that I'm stronger, I should pay someone a visit. Long time no see. You never told me how my arm tasted. Straight down to business, huh? Well, that's fine with me. This time you're gonna get eaten! <laughs> Quick step! <laughs> that's right. I'm a real threat now. Not just some weak sniveling prey for you to hunt down. Aerodynamics! <laughs> I'm real proud of this one. Take a closer look! You taste terrible. Although I gotta admit, it's an oddly satisfying mouthful to swallow. out of this labyrinth. I'm gonna survive this nightmare and find my way back home. And I don't care who stands in my way. They try me, I'll kill them.
Seating this guy isn't gonna up my level any further. If I can't find a way up, then I'm just gonna have to go down. I can use transmute to move horizontally, so it stands to reason I should be able to use it to move vertically, too. This labyrinth's supposed to have a hundred levels. It'd be real nice if I knew which one I was on. I can't see a damn thing. It's too dark. Good way to get myself killed, but I've got no choice. of your discovery. What did you find on the 20th level of the Great Orcus Labyrinth? Your Highness, we found a new kind of trap that utilized a Glans crystal. It instantly transported us to the 65th level. Oh, that's quite deep. Indeed, it's the deepest level that's ever been reached, as well as the lair of the Behemoth. I regret to report that our fight against the Behemoth and Trom soldiers was both unsuccessful and deadly. Word that one of God's chosen heroes has perished is spreading throughout the kingdom. This isn't the outcome we had hoped for. He will not speak any further about this matter. Understood? <clears throat> Sire, that goes for all of you heroes. <sighs> Self-killed. We can't lose any more of you. You're right. Come on. You can cut open a path for us. Get us all out of here. Right. I'm on it. I 
bid you welcome to the world of Tortoise. On behalf of the entire kingdom, allow me to say what an honor it is to have you brave heroes here among us. According to Pope Ishtar, there are three races of creatures who inhabit this world. They are the humans, the demons, and the beastmen. For centuries, human and demon kind have been engaged in a bloody war, with neither side gaining the advantage. But then, the demons learn to control monsters, tipping the scales in their favor, and pushing humanity to the brink of destruction. To prevent humankind's fall, Ehit, the god of creation worshipped by the people of Tortoise, summoned heroes with incredible power to this kingdom. We are those heroes. The people in this kingdom are in danger of annihilation. We can't let them die. We were brought here to fight, and I say that we do it. No, I'm an Ogawa, you can't. I understand why you want to help, but please think about what they're asking you to do. Your lives would be in danger. I'll fight too. I wouldn't want you to have to go it all alone. Are you sure? Yeah, count me in. I don't see what other option we have. That's great. Are you even listening to me? And, um, if Shizuku's going to fight the demons, then I'll try to help too. Thanks, Cody. It's just too risky. You can't do this! I forbid it! Do you hear me? I'm your teacher, so what I say goes. We're going to have these people send us home as soon as possible. Until that happens, you are still my students, and you will do as you're told, which means absolutely no fighting a war again. It doesn't make sense. How are we suddenly so powerful? It's fine. Uh, nobody's ever gonna find out. Nobody saw me do it. Everything went perfectly. It's fine. Hiyama? Yagishi. <laughs> you seem nervous. What's up? Uh, nothing's up. I'm fine. How about you? Just getting some training in. <laughs> Gotta keep up my routine or I'll get rusty. Uh, You're welcome yeah, to practice with sure. me if you want. Mm, no, I'm good. Um, see ya. Was he always so twitchy or is that new? He was a confrontational guy, always picking fights with Nagumo. Even after we wound up here. Maybe he had a thing for Coyote? <laughs> Ridiculous. how much farther I have to go before I hit the bottom of this place. By my count, I've gone down 50 levels from where I landed. Maybe the answers I'm looking for are hidden behind those doors. 
It's time to open Pandora's box. I wonder, will I find hope waiting inside like she did? I'm surviving this. I'm surviving this hellhole and going home. Nobody's gonna stand in my way. If they do, they die. I studied a ton back at the castle, but I don't remember seeing anything like this before. Guess that could mean it's really ancient. Alright, I'll use transmute and see what happens. sure until we go back and check I'll work hard and get stronger I'll get stronger then go back and see for myself she's a coup will you help me find the truth of course I will I'll be with you the entire way I promise <gasps> thank you <laughs> hey you don't have to thank me we're friends, right? <laughs> Mana stones. So these guys were the keepers of the keys then. I'll worry about eating them later. For now.
all gotta go. Uh, wait! Please! Help me! Not happening. Please! I'll do anything! Come on. You're obviously sealed away down here for a reason. Only an absolute idiot would release you. And since I'm not an idiot, I'll pass. Besides, I'm busy. Betrayed. And whoever did the betraying felt the need to lock you up way down here. Care to explain why that is? This place is no joke. You must have someone scared. Hey, are you gonna answer me? Start talking or I'm out of here. The truth is, I come from a long line of vampires. I was gifted with great power. The gift I always used to protect my people. Some kind of royalty, then? Yes. But they said I posed too great a threat. And since they couldn't kill me, they sealed me down here. So that's why. What do you mean they couldn't kill you? I heal very quickly. My injuries repair themselves. That the power you were talking about? That and... I can also manipulate mana. Without a circle. Seriously? Those are some incredible powers. I can see why you'd be so hard to kill. Will you help me? <sighs> I'm gonna regret this later, aren't I? territory. Can I ask your name? I'm Hajime. Hajime Nagumo. Hajime. 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 What's yours? Hajime. <laughs> You've got a name, right? Give me one. What? You want me to give you one? Did you forget yours or something? I don't need my old name anymore. I want one that you choose. I don't see why you'd want. Okay, so what? Just come up with a random name? Um, how about Yue? Yue? Uh huh. Where I come from, it's a word that means moon. When I first walked in, this room looked like it was filled with stars. And your golden hair reminded me of the moon in the night sky. Sound good? Perfect. It sounds perfect. <laughs> Thank you! It's no problem. <laughs>
supposed to keep you in here? <laughs> Take this. You gotta wear something. Don't look at me like that. Oh. Hold on to me and don't let go, okay?
That's not how I do things. You were betrayed by the people you put your trust in, and I promised that I would keep you safe. I won't leave unless you're with me. If I remember right, 300 years ago, the vampires were supposedly eradicated in a war. Has it been that long? That must have started after you were sealed. Wait, exactly how old does that make you? <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> so, what's the deal? Do all vampires live that long? No, I'm the exception. I don't age because I can regenerate. Huh. Your special magic makes you immortal. <laughs> Got it. I don't suppose you'd happen to know where we are right now. Or better yet, a quick way to the surface. No, I don't. But legends say this labyrinth was built by one of the Mavericks. What's a Maverick? They were once messengers of the gods, but then they rebelled and turned against their masters. They actually tried to put up a fight against gods? In doing so, they attempted to destroy our whole world, but their plans crumbled. After their failure, the Mavericks fled to the safety of their labyrinths. And do you think we're currently sitting in one of them? It's said that they're still stalking in the darkness, hiding in the deepest depths of their new homes. So that's what's waiting in the last ring of hell. If we go there, we might find a way to the surface. Possibly, yeah. If someone could wield divine magic, I'm betting they could conjure up a path to the surface without any problem. The monster's carapace is Staror, a stone with a unique magical property. The more mana it absorbs, the stronger it becomes. No wonder it was so hard to kill. What is that you're making? It's a weapon. An anti-material rifle meets a railgun. A railgun? Exactly. You saw my revolver. Donner is a powerful gun. The bullets are special, too. But I'm gonna use this star or to upgrade it into something that packs a bigger punch. All done. I'd say now. This one's named Schlagen. How did you come to be down here, Hajime? Uh, and how is it you can directly manipulate mana? Huh? Why are you able to digest uh, monsters? Uh, are you a human? Uh, what happened to your arm? Hey, one question at a time! I'll explain everything, just give me a sec! <sighs> Let's see... Where's the best place to start the story? One day, my classmates and I were summoned to this world by the god Ehit. The people here said we were supposed to be the ones who'd save humanity from demon kind. I was assigned to be a synergist, which isn't really a combat job. Everyone said I was totally useless in a fight, which seemed true. We teamed up with the Royal Guard to clear out this labyrinth, but things went wrong. In the middle of fighting a behemoth, one of my classmates betrayed me and I ended up in the depths. A huge beast ate my arm, almost killing me. But I decided that I was going to survive no matter what. That meant using my synergist abilities to kill a monster. And he did. Oh, why are you crying? It's just... so sad. You suffered just like me. You shouldn't be sad. I don't give a crap about my classmates anymore. I don't even want revenge for what happened. All I care about is getting as strong as possible. I have to do my all to survive, so that I can find a way back home. Back home? Yeah, that's the plan. I mean, sure, a lot has changed about me, but getting back home is still my ultimate goal. Oh, I'd say the same, but I have no home now. <sighs> I don't need my old name. I want one that you choose. Man. How about you come with me then? Back to my home, I mean. It might be pretty boring. 
The world I come from doesn't have any magic in it, but we can figure something out. What do you think? <laughs> you don't have to. It's totally your choice. Sound good? You're sure? <laughs> Status, open. Koki Amonogawa. Job, hero. <laughs> it appears that you've grown even stronger. We'll continue training in the labyrinth, but with only the teammates who are present right now. I trust you will prepare accordingly. Yes, yes sir. sir! That is all. Failure's not an option, right? Come on, guys! We're gonna make sure to boost our levels! Yeah! <laughs> not! Cool! You're not crushing me! You are way too calm right now! Dinos. No matter how many of them I slaughter, they just keep coming! Actually, there might be even more. How's that possible? Not to mention, there are flowers growing out of their heads! <laughs> I think they're kinda cute. Are you kidding me? And why was the one earlier trampling them? <laughs> Vampire princess, you think you could give me a break and stop snacking on me for a minute? I can't help it. Come on! You can't still be that tired! Now that looks suspicious. Stop making me carry you. I guess that's fair. Now then, you seem pretty desperate to keep us out of here, so I bet we hit the jackpot. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> mm, my sense presence skill hasn't detected anything yet. <laughs>
actually not half bad. Sorry, Hajime! I can't stop! who was sealed away for 300 years wouldn't. Don't you ever feel hungry, though? I was before, but I'm fine now. Did you eat something? I must have missed that somehow. I drink your blood. Oh, wow. So if you have blood, then you don't have to consume anything else to survive? I could get nutrients from normal food. But blood is the more effective way for me to feed. Interesting. Um, why are you licking your lips? You taste good, Hajime. Uh. Your blood is so rich. Wait, hold on a second. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're still getting away. It's time to eat. Uh -uh. Must be getting close to the hundredth floor. Something here, it's behind these doors. Are you scared? No, 
Not as long as I'm with you. That's what I like to hear. This is some entrance way. Check out those pillars. Think we made it? To the Maverick's lair? Hope so, because that means we're one step closer. We'll beat whatever's down here and then we'll get the hell out. Okay. on defense. One heals, one attacks, one defends. You're a well-rounded beastie, aren't ya? <laughs> Take this! Damn it! <laughs> 
Jota. You've got to snap out of it. Listen up. We'll kill that thing and get out of here. Make it to the surface and find a way home. You and me. Yeah. That's settled. Now, how do we take it out? I'm gonna try schlocking. I can only fire one shot at a time, so I'll need cover. I'm on! enemies. That's pretty intense. But you'll need more than that against me. I'll take all of them out in one go!
little something special for you. This is for hurting you, eh? to hold us back forever. Hey, give her a break. She needs to hear this, Shizuku. Listen, we have to keep moving forward. I'm sure Nagama would want us to do our... I'm uh, here for you, so uh, just let me know if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Absolutely. Whatever happens, I've got your back 100%. <sighs> Thanks, Eddie, Suzu. That's so sweet of you. All right, break's over. Time to move out. supposed to be at the bottom of a labyrinth. What's a bed doing here? Thank you. Hajime. Come on, rise and shine, princess. <laughs> you sexy blood-sucking space cadet! Will you wake the hell up already? <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what they call me. About time you woke up. Now you want to tell- You're okay! Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll take more than some overgrown snake to kill me. So, where are we? We're inside the Maverick's lair. Finally. Alright. How about you tell me what I missed? You collapsed. After that, the door opened, revealing this place. I dragged you inside and lifted you up onto the bed. It looked like the holy water was starting to take effect, and my powers were all used up. Sounds like you saved me again. I owe you one. <laughs> so, you a... Mm -hmm. Tell me, why the hell am I naked? You were dirty all over, so I cleaned you up. Okay, what's with the lip licking? <laughs> I don't trust that laugh either. What'd you do while I was sleeping? Stop that! It's really freaking me out! Looks like I've got somebody's entire wardrobe to choose from. So this Maverick must have been a guy. This place is huge. I found more than clothes. I guess we should do some exploring once we're all dressed, then. Uh, so, uh, what kind of look are you going for there? It's not my fault nothing here fits me. Whatever you say. That's sunlight? No way, not down here. It changes too, turns dark at night. Neat trick. There's a freaking mansion down here, too. I looked around a little bit, but most of the doors seem to be locked. Cards up. We don't know what's waiting in there. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> the water's nice and warm. Oh, man, how many months since I had a real bath? So get in. I'll join you. I'll take one solo later. <sighs> this one's a bust, too. You weren't kidding about all the locked doors in this place. Let's check the third floor. Might as well. Doesn't seem to be anything else up here. Just one big room. That's weird. It looks like he was waiting for someone. This room's probably the key to finding a route to the surface. And we don't have many options with the transmute not working on those other rooms. UA, be ready to help if I need it. Right. Just be careful.
Greetings, my name is Oscar Orcus, and I am the man who built this labyrinth. I congratulate you on surviving my trials. I assume the term Maverick is familiar to you? So you're him. I've no doubt you have a great many questions. Unfortunately, what you're seeing is only a recording. So I'm afraid that your queries must go unanswered. Instead, I wish to pass along an important truth. A truth about the history of this war-torn world. One that inspired myself and others like me to stand up and fight for what we believed was right. The 65th floor. That's right. Here we go again. The deepest floor anyone's ever descended to. Not bad. Honestly, I was a little worried when we first set out. But everyone's gotten so strong. It's kind of crazy. You've been working really hard. How many times have you leveled up now? Not as many as you have, Mr. Hero. Stay sharp, people. This floor's only been partially mapped. We have no idea what might be waiting for us. Right! right.
today. Hell yeah, it is. I think I think the is leaving. We can't do it. Oh, oh, I thought you were dead for sure. It. Hey, what's up? Is something wrong? Uh, sorry, you startled me. It's nothing, really. I'm fine. I guess I'm just having a difficult time believing we've really made it this far. <laughs> me too. Cody? I don't know who you are, or what circumstances led you to pit yourself against my labyrinth. But you fought hard and came far. And so I shall grant you my power. You may do with it whatever you see fit. I make but one request, that you not use what you gain from me for evil. What's going on? That's all I have to say. You'll understand more soon enough. May you remain resilient, and may your destiny always be yours to control. <laughs> What's happening? It's like something's being imprinted on my mind! <laughs> about this world or any of the people in it. I'm going back home. That's all that matters. You feel differently? Mm -mm. I don't care about anything else. This is where I belong. Uh, anyway, I think I learned a new spell. That circle gave me some kind of ancient magic. What's it do? Apparently, it's called creation magic. With it, I can add energy to raw minerals, giving them special properties and creating something new. You're saying you can make artifacts? Sure can. Pretty badass, huh? Oh, wow. Amazing. You know, you could learn the spell, too. Except, I don't know how to use transmute. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. But still, it's ancient magic, right? The way I figure, there's no harm in learning it. Okay, if that's what you want. <sighs> How'd it go? You learn the spell? Yeah. I mean, I did, but I'm not sure I'll be able to use it. Too bad. I guess this kind of ancient magic is more compatible with some casters than with others. In any case, this place is ours now. Might as well ditch the skeleton. Think we should bury it? Bingo. Found it, UA. According to this, that magic circle can take us to the surface. Except to connect it, we're going to need Orcus's ring. Luckily, that's not a problem. I grabbed it before we buried him. Workshop stocked. Apparently, Oscar kept a bunch of artifacts and materials in there. I say we take them. Finders keepers. Hajime, see this. So that's how it works, huh? Make it through the other labyrinths, and we'll get our hands on the other forms of ancient magic these people possessed. And you might find a way to get home, too. That's right. So I guess we know what we've got to do now. Time to go conquer some more labyrinths. just thinking. Maybe we should stay here for a while. I want to get back to the surface, but there are still so many things we need to learn. And if we're going to face the other labyrinths, we should be as prepared as we possibly can. I'm fine with anything as long as you're there. 
Pretty sure I said I wanted to bathe alone. <laughs> you could at least cover up a little. There were lots of towels back there. But I want you to look. Uh, you're killing me here, Yue. See, the thing is... What's wrong? You don't think I'm pretty? <laughs> no, that's not it. I think you're totally gorgeous. <laughs> well, good. All of me is yours, Hajime. So there's no point in being shy. Oh, you're just... I am... I... am uh, so naked! Uh, oh, oh, wow, I can feel it touching me! Feel what? You're kidding, right? No one, forget it, I'm out of here! I don't think so! Hey! No! Hold on! geared up, and I've gained all I'll be able to from eating monster meat. It took two whole months, but I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Yue, the weapons and powers I've got now, they'll draw attention. Especially from the Holy Church. I doubt they'll be very accepting. It would be one thing if it was just them we faced, but I wouldn't be too surprised if we had the gods targeting us as well. It might just be us against the world. And honestly, I'm not sure if we have enough lives saved up to survive it. We may not. But if I look out for you, and if you look out for me, nobody can stop us. Nobody. All right. We'll beat everything and everyone. And bust out of this crappy world together.
to the surface. or something? Yeah. She's trouble. Let's go. Wade! Don't go! I need your help! <laughs> Why would we help a worthless rabbit? See how I'm obligated to help some bunny I've never even met before. Your major malfunction. Just give up. I can't. The future of my whole race might be at stake. All right, fine. <sighs> ah! That really hurts. <laughs> well, out with it. What's your sob story? Thank you so much for giving me a chance. <laughs> hey, keep your snotty ass nose off my coat. That's freaking gross. <laughs> got monster trouble. But why were you exiled in the first place? Beastmen aren't supposed to be able to manipulate mana, but for some reason I can. And on top of that, I can use a special kind of magic that only monsters use. Why is it so special? Well, it's called future sight. I see possible futures. Like if you make a certain choice, then this is what will happen, you know? Actually, that's how I knew I'd meet you. Uh, please, will you help us? If you don't, then the Holy Erase is doomed! Not happening. Please, hear me out! I saw this! I saw into the future! You help us! You save me and my people from the monsters! Oh, do I? And what do I get for this noble act? Well, 
Nothing, right? Wait! You're headed for the Great Tree in the Holtzina Sea of Trees, aren't you? Well, you should know! It's surrounded by fog! Really thick fog, too! People get hopelessly lost in it! So? So, if you had someone with you, someone who was a native of the Sea of Trees... Let's take her. <gasps> really? Having a guide could be helpful. You're the best! Thank you so much! It's okay. I'm sure you'll warm up to me eventually. Look, look! <gasps> I found some fruit. Don't they look yummy? Wait! Get back here! No! <laughs> your people, and in exchange, you guide us to the tree. I've never met anyone like you before. Someone who could use monstrous powers like I can. It may sound strange, but I feel a sort of kinship with you. Can I ask what the goal of your journey is? It's simple enough. I'm taking you away and going home. That's my goal. <clears throat> I've been thinking, and I made a decision. I'm going to join you on your journey. No, thanks. Yeah, you'll just hold us back. Shut down again! Huh? We want to get stronger! I'm tired of feeling weak. Hajime, sir, please, we beseech you. Do you now? I got you. Oh, <laughs> 
forest surrounded by plants. Don't tell me you idiots are all sappy because of that flower. Ooh, we can't help it. It has pretty petals and these cute little bugs crawling on it. Nature really is amazing, don't you think? It's all the flowers! Hajime, sir, how have you survived this long? Listen up, you crap for brains rabbits! If you don't want me to murder each and every one of you, then slay a monster for me! It's kill, or be killed! join us oh well the thing is i just kinda just what out with it <laughs> i just want to be with you hajime because i love you huh hey boss we hunted down every last monster we could find whoa father your voice is weird you seem so different that many? I only said you needed to bring me one monster. A whole pack of them attacked our party. They had the nerve to try to kill us, so we cut the fiends to shreds. Like you said, kill or be killed. They were annoying, but their dying screams filled me with so much raw pleasure. Um, Hashimi, question. What did you teach my people? How to survive. That's the grape tree. It's been dead since before Verbergen was established. But it never rotted away. It stood here for ages, lifeless but unchanging. Up there, it looks like Oscar's ring. Yes, the same design. That settles it. We found the entrance to another labyrinth. What's this? will open once more only to those who possess the four symbols, the power of regeneration, and a beacon formed out of ironclad bonds. What's that mumbo jumbo mean? You need four symbols? Then maybe those are the labyrinth relics? Ah, oh, and that part about the beacon formed of bonds might be... The fact that you joined up with some super brave beastmen! The magic of teamwork! But the power of regeneration... I don't think that's gonna get us through. Perhaps if we clear the other labyrinths, we'll learn more ancient magic. And in doing so, we'll gain the regeneration ability needed to get in. I get it now. What a pain. Guess we've gotta head to those other Maverick dungeons before we do this one. Hear that? I can't get inside. That means I've gotta track down other labyrinths. Our deal is officially over. This is where we part ways. Good luck, I guess. With what you learned, you should be able to survive out here by yourselves now. Boss! 
Please, let's travel alongside you. We beg you. No. We'll follow behind you then. Nah, just keep training. That's the best thing you can do to help. That way, when I come back, maybe you'll be useful. You hear that, everyone? We're gonna keep on training till we're strong enough to help out the boss! shadow lurks in the sea of trees, but is never fully revealed, always vanishing the second before you see it. It must be a new type of monster, something terrifying, one that's lived here since the dawn of time. I bet you went out again and heard people talking. You hear everything with these floppy ears of yours. Do you want to be a monster? Of course not! That would be terrible! And why is that? Um, what do you mean? I understand it doesn't always feel like a good thing to be different. It can be lonely or frightening or sad. But here's a secret. Huh? There are some things you can do only because you're different. Ways that you can help other people. Like someone special to you. Huh? Wow, really, Mom? Why don't we talk about the future? One day, you'll meet some wonderful people outside the Sea of Trees. In fact, I think they'll be a lot like you. What do you mean by that? I promise there's no way you're the only person who's different in this world. It's a pretty big place. From outside the Sea of Trees? They're out there. I know it. Mother, thank you. Oh. Hey, Yue, you promised me something if I landed an attack. Mm -hmm. I know you remember. I get to come with you. Travel, bud, please. Fine. Just try to keep quiet, okay? <laughs> Hajime, let's take this worthless rabbit with us. So those were the stakes of your duel, huh? Sadly. So is it okay then? You can come with us, but that doesn't mean we're gonna get along with you. The future isn't absolute, don't you know that? Anything can happen. And I believe that if I try hard enough, I can change the future all by my lonesome. It can be hard, you know, this power of mine. Sometimes I try to stop bad things from happening, but they still do. And I always wonder if maybe it's because I didn't do my best. But from now on, I don't want to have any regrets! It's gonna be dangerous. Well then, I'm glad I'm a monster. If it gets scary, I can take care of myself. Yeah, about that. It'll be hard for you to live in my world. I don't care, really. Is that all you've got? Great! Then that means I win! Wait, what? I mean, I won you over. We're getting closer. Whatever. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> says is that the entrance to the labyrinth is in Ryzen Gorge. Thanks for nothing, map maker. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, whatever. What's wrong? Why are you squirming like that? Um, I just need to go powder my nose pretty badly. You won't find a bathroom down here. Aww. Anyway, since we can walk through the gorge on the way to Griyuan, we may as well hit up the labyrinth if we can find it. Mm. Hajime! I found something I think you'll like! Quick, come look over here! See? Isn't it weird? Hi there! Glad to meet you! Let me be the first to welcome you to Melody Rise's super duper exciting labyrinth! What? Where's that?
that voice coming from? Who cares? It's the entrance you were looking for! Now our adventure can really begin! So, do you think this is legit? Hmm. Why's that? Melody was in Oscar's notes. Okay, now how are we supposed to get inside? Dunno, it's probably complicated. <gasps> You're kidding. Where'd she go? Mm. The bunny wet herself. wasn't one of the Liberators after all. She's just a scourge on humanity. I have to agree. It didn't seem like this was going to end up being a real labyrinth, but it's definitely got some maze vibes. place before, don't you? Definitely. The puddle's still here. So are we back in the first room? Looks like it. Guys, tell me how you feel right now. Go on, don't be shy! So, Nia, tell me, when is Miss Aiko heading out on her expedition? I believe that she's been scheduled to depart sometime in the next few days, ma'am. <sighs> it's all happening so quickly. <clears throat> but I guess we'd just get sad if she stayed here any longer. <clears throat> hey, Yuka. That's a weird look on your face. <laughs> so, do you have something on your mind? Yeah. I've been thinking, and I can't keep sitting around here doing nothing all day. So I've decided that I'm going to go with Miss Aiko. Hey, have you gone crazy or what? That's a terrible idea. I assure you that I've thought about this. It isn't a sudden decision. Honestly, I've been feeling this way for a while now. Ever since Nagumo died. Sure, I'm scared and confused about some things, but I have to do something. Surely you guys feel the same way, right? Seriously? It isn't safe out there. No, you could end up exactly like he did. You said it, he's dead. 
All because he tried to be brave. Yes, but if he hadn't acted bravely, I wouldn't even be standing here today. Not just me. Nagumo saved each and every one of us. Yeah, I guess so. Besides, I'm not saying any of you have to go with me. Stay here, but I refuse to waste any more time. Wait, Yuka! Are you sure? Look, I don't have the guts to go with Aminogawa and the others. So the least I can do is keep Miss Aiko safe. an impressive door. I'm pretty sure we just stumbled upon Melody's chamber. Yes. Oh well, shit, I wish we had time to celebrate. Problem is, I've got a real bad feeling about these suits of armor lining the walls. Don't worry about it. At least we know what to expect. Does that mean they're gonna come to life and attack us? Hey, Miss Runny Rabbit. Um, yes? What is it? You're a tough bunny. You can handle yourself in a fight. So get in there and have some fun. We'll save you if it starts to look like you're gonna die. Uh, I take care of my pupils. Oh, guys! That's so sweet! <laughs> right! I'll beat the heck out of Nility! was human and would be long dead by now. We read about her in Oscar's notebook. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Are you the one who made it through Oscar's lovers? I'm the one asking the questions around here. If you don't feel like answering me, I'll just have to fight you. We've come down here to find ancient magic and we'll destroy anyone who gets in our way. I'm telling the truth! I'm the real Neely D. Ryzen! Promise! If you want to know more, you better start being a little friendlier. What do you want this ancient magic for? It must be something important. My goal is pretty simple. I want to get back to my home. The only reason I'm here is because of some insane god. So trust me, I'm not in this world by choice. I see. That must have been tough on you. We're looking for a form of ancient magic that allows you to jump between worlds. Because I have no intention of putting my life on the line for this one. That's my answer. So, will the ancient magic in this labyrinth let me get to my world? Hmm, let's see. Nope, I don't think I'm gonna tell you. Then die! Destroy her core! That should be like her heart! like it did. 
but... I really hope that was the end of this fight. Ah! Oh, your attack did was tickle me. I think this labyrinth is stopping your weapon's power. Shit, her armor. It's a Santium. The hardest metal in the world. Now, how about another round? in doing so. I told you, I just want to leave. How'd you get up there? Why bother telling you? I finished my job as the decoy. Source rupture! You're not gonna feed me, you mean one of you bullies! My arms can regenerate and fix themselves, see? Not if we don't let up on you! Nice work, you guys. Rabbit, been down for me. Hmm? Oh. Hajime won't pet you, so I'll do it instead. Don't bunnies like that? You did a good job, Shia. from the killer tin can. The thing is, those gods are trying to take down are some really super duper bad guys, so I just wanted you to know what you were getting yourself sent to. Wait, back it up. Why are you acting like we're going to end up fighting these gods? Because you will. Because you are who you are. One day, you will become the god killer. You're not making sense. The only way I'll bother taking them out is if they get in my way. <laughs> That's fine. Tell yourself whatever you want. The decisions you make will surely make this world a better, happier place in the end. Well, look at that. I think she's finally going. Have fun. I hope you're able to live your lives with all the pain that you can ask for.
So the ancient power you have is gravitic magic. Please use it wisely. Oh, but you and Bunny Girl don't really have an affinity for it. You need to be at much higher levels. How would you know? Don't just assume that. Blondie here would be perfect for it, though. If you train hard, you'll become a master. <sighs> Yeah, that's a good start. But don't you have other stuff? Like some useful artifacts or rare materials or something? Come on, hand them over. Where's the stash? I want to be weighed down with crap when I get out of here. I know you're hiding the good stuff somewhere, you annoying little turd. Uh, to think that the first people down here would be so greedy. Yeah, I'm over this. Later, you guys. Don't come back. Oh, yeah? Then what? Uh, 
head of the Furin Adventurers Guild, Ilwer Chang. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hajime, Yue, and Shia. You're not an easy group to track down. I've heard some interesting rumors. The people of Brook are all talking about a trio of powerful travelers who carved a path through Ryzen Gorge. You got the wrong group. Local legends or not, I can tell you've got the skills to handle the request I would like to make of you. Don't think so. Look, do you mind if I just tell you what it is? It's a lot less paperwork for me if I can say I formally asked for your help. <laughs> just as I expected from the head of a guild. He won't take no for an answer. She was unusually quiet. Turns out she's asleep. Well, we're not stopping on the way, so let her rest while she still can. If you're asking me to track down a missing party? Correct. A party of adventurers was headed into the northern mountains on a survey. Count Kudeta's third son was traveling with them. I want you three to rescue Will Kudeta. A Count's son, huh? He must have been traveling with some pretty heavy muscle then. That's the troubling part. Their disappearance might mean they encountered something stronger than themselves. And if that's the case, then a lot of people are going to get hurt. We know nothing of their fate, and nothing of the enemy. The Count is a friend of mine, and he's turned to me for help. A friend, huh? Will your group agree to take on this request? Absolutely not. Now, if there's nothing else, I think we better go. I'll make sure you're well rewarded for your efforts. Sorry, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Well, then, how about I simply agree to always look the other way, when you find yourself bumping up against the rules of the Adventurer's Guild. I'll admit it's becoming quite a tantalizing offer, but I do have two conditions. And they are? First, the three of us are going to need you to make us some status points. And the second? If we ever need you, you agree to do exactly as we say. Very well. I think we have a deal. Smart man. Hajime, you were so forceful. Yeah, I was. He clearly had his back against the wall. The more something means to someone, the more you can get them to agree to do for you. There's something more to it, though. You figure it out? Right now, we're headed to Ur. We'll get some food and spend the night in the continent's largest rice farming area before we go up to the mountains to look for that lost party. Rice farming? I'm so excited! I haven't had any rice since I came to this world. It's been so long, it's weird to think I used to eat it every day. In that case, I can't wait to have some. Sounds like there's some serious trouble up in the mountains, and it's cut the spice traders off in their usual route. 
What trouble? Rumors say a gang of monsters suddenly appeared. And just the other day, a group of high-ranking adventurers made their way out there and didn't come back. That's more than a little concerning. But thankfully, somebody else has been sent here to deal with the problem. A group of guests checked in today, saying that they had been asked to search for the missing party by the head of the Fear and Adventurers Guild himself. Oh? Well, whoever they are, they must be pretty tough. How many times do I have ah, to ask? Here they are now. Can you stop excluding me to retreat into your own little world? Do you uh, hear me, Hajime? Yeah, I hear you. I just don't want to see you. So, separate rooms. Huh? You, hey, are you listening to this? You've been so mean to me. Ow. Hajime. Yeah, yeah. Did they say what I thought they just said? <gasps> yeah, and his voice sounds familiar. Am I wrong here? Uh, uh. Nagamo? <laughs> uh. Nagamo? Uh, Miss Aiko? <gasps> it is you! It really is you, isn't it? I'm so... I'm so glad you're alive. No, nope. you got the wrong guy. Huh? Bye. Wait, <laughs> hold on, please. You may look a little different than you used to, but there's no hiding the fact that you just said my name. No, you heard me wrong. It's, uh... Oh, right. It's a regional word that means tiny woman. Yeah. Then you were just being incredibly rude? Nice try, but no one is that mean to a stranger immediately. You can't trick me. I'm a teacher. Please, what happened to you? Why do you look like that? Why haven't no you come way. back to everyone? Answer me! Nagamo! Leave him alone. You're clearly bothering him. And just who are you? Can't you see I'm trying to have a heartfelt reunion with one of my students? Oh, looks like you're throwing a fit. <sighs> I lost my composure. Let's try this again. You are Nagamo, right? <sighs> yeah. So, how you doing? Been a while? Hajime, you can't just ignore her. Check it out. They have curry here. Oh, you don't know what that is. Well, trust me. It's a little spicy, but I'm confident you're gonna like it. I do. I trust you with all my heart. If you think I'll like it, that's what I want. Uh, how long did you practice that? It was so smooth. Nice work. Mm. Excuse me, we're ready to order. I think I've waited long enough. You can order your food after you've answered my questions. First of all, who are these young ladies you've been ignoring me to talk to? If I'm about to answer a bunch of questions, then at least let me eat while I talk, and they can speak for themselves. I'm Yue. I'm Shia. I'm and we both belong to Hajime. Uh, huh? Belong to? Uh, let's get one thing straight. You do not belong to me. How could you possibly say something like that? You stole my first kiss, don't you remember? We must have been over this a dozen times now. Mouth to mouth and kissing aren't the same. How dare you? Oh, uh, yeah. Here, here. You stole that girl's first kiss and now you're two timing her? I will not let this go! <laughs> it's so reprehensible, I almost can't believe it! Well, there's only one thing to do when a student misbehaves. Lecture time! You've got a lot to learn! <sighs> Infidelity aside, I'm glad to know you're all right. But what happened after you fell in the labyrinth? I worked real hard. Uh, why is your hair white now instead of brown? Because I worked real hard. And how did you lose your right eye and your left arm? I worked so hard, the darn things just fell off. Why didn't you come back or try to get in touch with us? Didn't really have a reason to. Take this seriously! <laughs> We're eating here. Mind your manners. Mind my manners? The nerve! Is that how you talk to your superiors? You should learn how to conduct yourself properly. And I will not be lectured on table etiquette by someone who shares their meals with a beast man. She might be marginally more acceptable if I cut those disgusting ears off. Or maybe not, but it wouldn't be too difficult to find out for sure. What's that look for? 
disrespectful worm? How dare you show such insolence in the face of a Templar knight? Small men are so loud and... Damned heretic! <laughs> so then, you gonna mind those manners now? You won't be getting another warning. It'll be okay. Stay calm. Huh? Nagaba? Now's your chance to run. Right? I've got it from here! Retreat to safety! Got it! Yuka? You okay? Uh, I'm fine. Just having some trouble processing. I'm right there with you. It's pretty hard to believe. I mean, look at him. He's like an entirely different person. He's so... Jeez, what's the word? I got it. He's wild. And popular, too, it turns out. <laughs> that was good. Do me a favor and forget you ever saw me. I forgot about you guys a long time ago. I'm not gonna tell you what happened to me, or where I've been, or what I'm up to these days. Go where you want, do what you want. I don't care, but you had better stay out of my way, because he wasted your only warning shot. If any of you piss me off again, you're dead. Hey, Shia, are you still worried about what that guy said before? No, I'm not. That's just the way things are in this world. Idiots like him are everywhere you look. I know, okay? But it never gets any easier. And that was a new one. I didn't know that humans think my ears are so disgusting. They're fluffy and cute. He was saying that to hurt you. You like my ears? Hajime, tell me what you think about my bunny ears. Aren't they the best? Don't you just love them? They're okay, I guess. Hmm? Aww. He likes them quite a bit. Or at least it would seem so. He pets them while you're sleeping. You promised me you wouldn't tell her! I knew it! are no match for me these days. This one would have been a snap for any synergist, though. Why are you bragging? Do you think breaking into a woman's bedroom is some kind of accomplishment? What are you doing here? Sorry, sorry. I came to tell you something I didn't want the others to hear. <clears throat> what did you want to discuss? You're in for a wild ride. I'm here to tell you the history of this world as I've come to understand it. Huh? And after that, I'll tell you why I'm not coming with you. Just after the ancient Age of Gods, the 
world was plagued by war. Humans, demons, and the countless forms of beastmen fought ceaselessly against each other. Blood flowed freely. During those centuries of war, a group of people who wanted to stop it came forward. The leader of that group learned something important about their god's plan. He didn't have one. He was just using his creations as pawns in a game of war for his own amusement. While this god lurked in the shadows, pulling the strings to cause conflict, heroes came forth, united in their desire to stop him. Around that time, they started calling themselves the Liberators, but their plans fell apart before they could do any actual liberating. Their god declared them blasphemers, heretics, enemies of the church, hell-bent on destroying the world, and turned all of humanity against them. The Liberators, unable to fight the people they had sworn to protect, were relabeled Mavericks, hunted down and taken out one by one. But a few members did survive. They got together and made a new plan. There was nothing they could do with their limited power, so they abandoned the idea of attacking their god directly. Instead, they scattered and built great labyrinths so they could hide from a world that didn't understand them. In these labyrinths, they prepared trials. Whoever overcomes those trials is granted the powers of the Maverick who designed them. If someone got strong enough in this way, they could end this god's sick game once and for all. That's what I learned at the bottom of the abyss. And that's just about everything I've got. Up to you whether or not you believe me. I know firsthand it can be a lot to take in. So, any questions? Are you saying that you're gonna be the one to do something about this evil god? <laughs> Hell no. I don't give a damn what happens to this stupid world. I'm just using the Mavericks to find a solid way home. The labyrinths are the key. You can come with us if you want. But I have a pretty strong feeling you wouldn't last long out there. Shirasaki never gave up on you, you know. She wasn't going to believe you were dead, unless she saw it with her own eyes. Has she been doing okay? Well, she sent me a letter. She's training and growing stronger and stronger with the others by working through the labyrinth together. Then you should tell her something. There's more to worry about down there than just monsters. She should keep a close eye on her teammates as well. <gasps> Based on your reaction, I'm guessing you and the others haven't figured it out. So I'll be perfectly clear. You think my fall was an accident, don't you? Yes. One of the magic spells lost control and happened to hit you. Lost control, huh? So that's what you've told yourselves. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. The one who cast that spell had exactly what they were aiming for. What do you mean? Well, one of your diligent students tried real hard to kill me. So maybe tell Shirasaki and the others to watch their backs and start thinking about who their friends are. I know where this is headed. Go on, let's hear it. We're going to help you in the mountains. A search party should be as big as possible to cover more ground, wouldn't you agree? No thanks. I told you to stay out of my way. And to be totally honest, there's no chance any of you could keep up with us. Okay, I know you're strong, but you're not saying that you can run faster than our horses, are you? <sighs> Bye. Out of the way, please. Don't want to get blood on it. Hold on a second! Please let us come. You laid out some pretty serious history last night, and I want to talk about it some more. Huh? We could talk on the road, or while we're searching, it doesn't matter to me. In exchange, I promise to leave you alone. We'll part ways, and I won't drag you back with us. <sighs> 
fine, you can come. But I don't think you and I have much more to say to each other. Sure we do. And even if we don't, we can just go over what we already talked about again. You're stubborn, you know that? But hey, I guess you never were one to change. No, I'm not. <laughs> Hajime, are they coming? Yeah, it seems like my former teacher wants to look out for me. She never compromises when it comes to her students, so... And leaving her behind would make for way more trouble when we got back. <sighs> I'm so excited to travel with all these new people! Uh, your motorcycle only seats three people, right? What about the rest of us? <laughs> Can't find a seat, hop in the trunk. Uh, okay, everyone! Here we go! So, Shimizu's gone missing. And we have no idea where he might be. I really hope he isn't in trouble or anything. Nah, I'm sure he'll be fine. If you say so. After all, you survived horrible odds and came back to us. Yeah, well, don't forget that I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Miss Psycho? She has done a lot for me in the past, so it's the least I can do. Huh. What's wrong? It's nothing, but I'm sitting there on the way back. You got it. Wait, you guys, that's no fair! I want to be up there next to you, and I'm <laughs> stuck in the back with a bunch of people Buddy, and barely even know! Cut it out! Know. Can't you see I'm trying to drive here? seeking automatons, called Ornies. They use a gravity stone to fly and an induction stone to think. Oh, and there's also a peering stone inside of them that's connected to my eye so I can see what they see. What do we have here? You already located a clue? Uh. It looks like a busted shield and some other gear. Yeah. We should go check this out. Sensing someone's presence nearby. Feels like it's human, or at least close enough. If someone's alive out there, they might need our help! Over there. Behind that waterfall. Yue. Fisher Yue! Go Windwalk! <laughs> Hey, you. 
Hajime Nagumo. The head of the Furin Adventurers Guild sent me to rescue you. No matter how hard we fought, the monsters wouldn't stop coming. Before we knew it, they had us cornered. Then it showed up. <laughs> what did? The Black Dragon. Dragon? <laughs> I don't deserve this! Why should I get to live? Everyone else in my party was slaughtered. I'm alive, and part of me is glad. But when I think about what happened to the others, I just... <laughs> no! Of course you're glad you didn't get killed. Why wouldn't you be? Wanting to live is human. It's called the survival instinct, and we'd all be screwed without it. You're totally in the right to be glad. I wish they could have. The only thing you can do for the people who died here is keep living on. Drag your feet forward one at a time and live on. Live on just like that? That's right. Someday you might find there was a reason you survived. But only if you keep on fighting. Do you understand? Well, we've got what we came for. Time to head back. Fix 
fixated on Will. <laughs> I'm not used to monsters ignoring me like this. I guess I'll just have to do a better job of holding its attention then. <sighs> There were some seriously tough monsters out here, but I honestly wasn't expecting this much of a challenge. <laughs> Yue, Shia, you guys ever heard of the expression, kick the dragon in its scaly ass? A dragon's only weak point is where it doesn't have scales. They say they're so well defended when they fall asleep, almost nothing can wake them. But if you attack one particular spot, it's a different story entirely. Take it in the ass and die! <laughs> Lovely nap on a mountain ledge. 
Naturally, I stayed in my dragon form, as there were vicious monsters in the vicinity. While I slumbered in peace, a man dressed in dark robes somehow stumbled upon my resting place and took advantage of me. He must have used some sort of mind control magic to steal my freedom and force me to act out his terrible wishes. The man was an expert of his wicked craft. And since he cast his spell over the course of an entire day, he was far too strong to resist. So you're telling me that you were in such a deep sleep that this idiot was able to spend a whole day casting magic and you didn't even know he was there? I don't believe you! You're saying it's not your fault? How convenient that someone else made you kill my friends! How are we supposed to know if you're telling us the truth? I bet you made that entire story up just to save your worthless hide. I swear this is what happened. The Dragonborn are a proud people. We'd never stoop to falsehoods. Liar! What she says is true. What proof do you have? The Dragonborn are noble and honest. You heard her. She put her pride on the line, right? That's how I'm sure she's not lying. But wait! Besides, I know what the eyes of a liar look like. And hers are pure. To think there is someone in this age who understands the way of the Dragonborn. I am the last surviving vampire. Three centuries ago, I was often told to look to the Dragonborn as models of how royalty should behave. Incredible! We'd received news in our village that the vampires were eradicated. And yet here sits a princess of their ilk. Who cares? It doesn't matter! You still killed them all! You can't get away with that! I don't wish to start some kind of conflict between our peoples. That said, it is true that I did take innocent lives. But if you order me to atone for my sins, then I will accept a fitting punishment. I only ask that you temporarily postpone it until I can stop that dangerous man in whatever it is he plots. Huh? Will you give me the chance to prevent another tragedy? Nah, you've caused me more than enough trouble already. Do you think I give a damn about what you want? It's time for you to die. Seriously? You would take my life and let that man get away with evil deeds causing unimaginable disasters to befall humanity? What kind of fool are you? Have you no sense of decency? You're going to kill her? Well, she's the one who started it. She was being controlled. Which means she's not our enemy. Think about it. Don't you have a secret vow to not take innocent lives? Apologies for interrupting, but could you at least remove the rod while you decide my fate? Huh? If you leave it inside me, I'll die no matter what you choose. Yeah, how so? When I transform, you'll be witness to a beautiful young woman whose bloods have been skewered by this oversized metal pipe. <laughs> Do you think anyone could survive that? My mana is running out. I'm not exactly opposed to this new sensation I've been introduced to, but I also don't want it to be the death of me. For the love of all that is good and holy in this world, I beg you, pull it out! Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> Could you go a little slower, please? Oh, I'm not used to this! <laughs> You're being so rough! What is it? <laughs> Oh, something is stirring deep within me. Yes, yes, just, just, just a little more. wizard! Yes, <laughs> Just a small army of beasts. I'm counting fifty. 
They'll make that 60,000. <laughs> They're already making their way toward the town. If they keep going at this pace, they'll arrive in two days' time. Then we have to go warn everybody! We can evacuate and send for help, some backup. Uh, hey, maybe Hajime could do something about this army. <gasps> no, my only responsibility is getting Will back to Furin safely. How am I supposed to do that if I'm fighting a bunch of monsters? Say, Nagumo, did you see any sign of the man in the dark robes with them? No. I've kept an eye out while scanning their ranks, but I haven't seen anyone like Tio described. Oh, I see. Could you maybe look a bit closer? Don't want to. See ya. Ah! Nagumo, wait! I just told you that my only job is getting him back home alive. The rest of you can stay here if you want, but then who's gonna warn Or of what's coming? Yes, good point. <clears throat> this overly hostile warrior is right. Informing the town should be our highest priority. I can help, but give me a day of rest so I'll recover to full health. <clears throat> oh, I see. Unfortunately, Hajime took so much out of me that I can barely move right now. you after all your words puncture my heart just as your fists pummeled the very core of my being and your weapon penetrated my most personal areas my heart body and soul are brimming with pleasure such horrid treatment such new sensations i feel like i might
Nakamo, is there anything you can do about this army of monsters? Please, Nagumo! There must be something you can do for us! Without your help, those creatures will destroy the entire town and hundreds of innocent lives will be lost! That's unexpected. I thought you prioritized the safety of your students above all else. But now you're asking one of them to put his life on the line for a bunch of strangers. Uh, of course. As a teacher, I should always put my students first. That said, I don't want to cast aside the many people of this world who I've come to know and respect. I know I wasn't there for you when you needed me the most, so these words may not mean very much to you. But I'll say them anyway. Nakumo, I do not want your life to be an empty one. And it will be if you forget how to care about other people. Miss Aiko, no matter what happens, you'll still be my teacher, right? Yes, always. No matter what decision I might make, even if it's the opposite of what you would have wanted. That's right. Provided that you listened carefully to what I had to say to you before you arrived at your decision. Uh, where are you going? There's an army headed this way. I should probably start getting ready for him. So then you'll help us? Only because my teacher told me to. should be good. Not long now. The monsters are gonna reach us soon. <laughs> I can practically hear you frowning. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I realize that I have no right to say this since I'm the one who asked you to fight them in the first place. But come back safe, okay? What's up, son of a? I just want to say thank you for what you did for me. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, you might not even remember it, but you saved my life back when we were in the labyrinth. And I never got the chance to thank you. I saved your life? It was probably just a fluke. Even if it was, I owe you. You gave me a chance, and I am not gonna waste it. Okay. Well, see ya. Son of A. Uh, Try not to die in this fight. You're a brave one. Well, for the most part. Thanks for that.
Come out. If you're gonna hide, at least do a halfway decent job of it. <laughs> I was waiting for the right moment to present myself. <clears throat> um, a moment, please. A moment, please. I only wish to make a trifling request of you. I promise I shan't keep you long. Miss Aiko's reputation. Make these people love her. Mm. The more important she seems, the more influence she'll have in this world. I get it. And since you're her student, she can use that to help you. Exactly. Hear me! Brave citizens of Ur, there is no need to fear! Our victory against the foe is already guaranteed! Because, you see, a goddess summoned by the heavens themselves stands among us in human form. Yes, you know her well. The goddess of plenty, Lady Aiko! As long as we have her on our side, we will not fall! Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world are you talking about? Listen to me. I am Lady Aiko's sword and shield. She has asked me to protect the town of Or, and I hereby swear I will heed her command. For Lady Aiko! <laughs> Witness the power of the goddess's blade, one who's been blessed by the lady herself! <laughs>
where I must stop. Uh, uh, not my engagement ring! Not bad for a masochistic curve. Take a nap, I'll handle the rest. Oh crap, out of bullets. Yue, you got much mana left? No, I've only got a few more spells left in me. Gravitic magic uses up a lot of mana. It's fine, don't sweat it. Use what you've got left on the big guys. Right. You can reward me later. Follow me, bunny. Aye, aye, Captain! Lightning burn! Chia, can you tell the difference between these beasts? It looks like some of them are being controlled just like Tia was. The rest are totally low level. That's right. <laughs> the brainwashed ones are most likely being controlled by one person. If we can take him out, we win. <laughs> expected a demon to be leading this army. students do something so completely horrible. I just wanted to show everybody in this world how incredible I am. What? That makes no sense. All this just made you look evil, Shimizu. Why would you think we'd be impressed by you hurting people? Not you, stupid. I mean the demons. I went north into the mountains alone to prove that I could capture a monster. That's when it happened. I met an actual demon. They understood exactly what I was capable of. They could see how much potential was inside me. So naturally, I had to make a little contract with them. A contract? What is it they want from you? It's funny that you should ask, because it says I have to murder you. <sighs> they can't leave the goddess of plenty to her own devices. She'd end up being more of a nuisance than the so-called heroes. <laughs> Which means that if I kill you, the demons will be so pleased that they'll hail me as their champion. Please say you're joking. How did this go wrong? I had 60,000 troops, but I still lost? Why the hell do you have such powerful weapons? Tell me, what kind of monster are you? Mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. You just want to feel like a special, important person. It's a perfectly natural desire. But still... You can't join the demons to achieve that. You shut up! Why shouldn't I choose to be on the side that'll treat me better? Because you know it's not right. I'm sure that deep down your intentions are pure and noble. And I won't let one of my students be used for evil. You don't know what I feel. Shimizu, why don't we start over again from the beginning? I promise I'll always have your back. <laughs> Mm. 
everything's gonna be all right. Let I go! Nobody move, or I'll kill her. This needle is coated in a powerful poison I got from a monster. Drop your weapons and put your hands up or she's dead. Please, Shimizu, you don't want to do this! Don't tell me what I want to do, you damn hypocrite! Keep quiet and be a good hostage so I can get the hell out of here! Hey, tough guy! Yeah, I'm talking to you, Edgelord! Stop playing stupid! You keep looking around and our teacher is seriously dead! You sure you got the balls for that? You're asking for it! Fine, fine, what do you want? Give me your gun! And all your other weapons while you're at it! Yeah, I had a feeling that's how this was gonna play out. Just hand him over, dammit! Afraid I can't do that. Besides, if you take her back to the demons, they're just gonna end up killing her anyway. So what's the point in me giving up my stuff, huh? Seriously, man, the gun's right now! Look out! reformed sorry but i'm not some bleeding heart i don't believe in crap like that you could have saved him but you chose death exactly i killed one of your precious students i thought over what you said but i won't let my enemies live you see i don't have any mercy left inside of me understand not a drop Shimizu. You want a reason? I told you, he was our enemy. That's not why you did it. If you hadn't shot him, he still would have been dead in minutes. Didn't realize you were paying that much attention. Hajime, you're so nice to your teacher. <sighs> that shot that got Shimizu was actually aimed at Aiko, wasn't it? But since you killed him, she doesn't have to think he died because of an attack meant for her. It would have broken her heart, but now she can still be the profoundly caring teacher she always was. You know, I go or realize what you did. And I think her words had a profound impact on you. They're in your blood now. Seas. Hell of a job, man. 
This is a merfolk child. She'll bring in a hefty price for sure. Now, let's get ready for the auction. Yes, sir! such a burden to you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm glad you're home safe. To be honest, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Eh, uh, he just got lucky, that's all. Anyway, I'm gonna need one more status plate, please, if you don't mind. You got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but are you sure it was appropriate for me to receive a gold top rank status plate? Mm-hmm, sure. I forgot! You made a promise, Hajime. Hey, don't be mean. You said that if I worked really hard, you would show me around to all the touristy places in Furin. Remember? Hmm? What's the matter? I heard this city was a hub for commerce, but it seems there's more to it than meets the eye. Well, I don't care who comes after us. I'll take them down in a heartbeat. You honestly don't care who they are? Nope. It could be a god for all I care. Thrumming in my chest. Is there trouble here on the continent? Yes, it looks as though God has summoned forth a host of alien beings, and their numbers are quite great. Then I shall go at once. <gasps> I have no choice. This will change our world immensely. Something deep inside is telling me it's true. Esteemed leader. And my beloved dragon brethren as well. I have no way of predicting what destiny awaits me, nor what anyone's fate holds. But I feel that things will change. And that feeling... is really rooting! Yeah. <laughs> Hurry and wake up. It's shopping time. Watch where you're going or you'll trip. <laughs> So this is a monster that can talk, huh? Says its name is Lehman. Hey, pal, can you actually talk or what? Introductions first. I don't know you. My name's Hajime. Tell me, Lehman, just what the hell are you? Don't be rude. If I asked you what a human was, how would you answer that, huh? Fine. If I have to give an answer, I'm just me. Nothing more than that, and nothing less. Now, I have a question. How exactly are you able to detect the presence of monsters nearby? If I had to guess, I'd say it's because I've eaten monsters. Jump. 
We should get going soon, though. Let me ask you one more thing first. What are you doing in this aquarium? Well, I had set off alone on a journey, but then I ended up swimming into an underground current, which brought me to the surface, and here we are. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, Lehman? I'm just spitballing here, but would you like us to get you out? Thanks, buddy. Really? Uh, don't mention it. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was brought to that prison, there was a little merfolk girl around, too. Poor thing. Seemed like she was being bought and sold just like me. I should warn you, there's a huge gang of slavers in this city. Better watch your back, especially you, pretty lady. Don't worry. I'll be extra careful. You do the same, okay? Thank you. Farewell. Yue, are you really all right with this? Him and she? What else? I mean, those two seem to be growing awfully close recently, don't you think? That's wonderful. What did you say? You would honestly be pleased to see another woman with the man that you love? She's not just anyone. She's Shia. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> You're chowing down. Is it really that good? Yes! Oh, question. Hmm? I just want to make sure. You are okay with Chiyo joining us, right? Joining us, huh? More like taking advantage of the confusion and then tagging along. <laughs> you don't like her? Well, putting aside the fact that she's a raging pervert, I don't mind her. And you? Oh, I like Tio. Pervert or not. <laughs> hmm? Is there something wrong? Not sure. It's just my sense presence caught on to someone nearby. Well, yeah, look around. We're surrounded by people. No, this is coming from below. Below? The sewers, you mean? And whoever it is, they're small and weak. Must be a kid. Huh? Here's your change. Thanks so much. At first, she was always hanging on Hajime. And her motives were so blatantly obvious that it was annoying. But then I saw... Something else? Mm -hmm. She fights for the things she loves. And people, too. She gives it everything she's got. But so admirable. She faces the world head on. It's true that she likes Hajime quite a bit. However, she likes me too. Not in the same way, but the exact same amount. <laughs> Isn't that precious?
you are. You're pretty good at playing caretaker, too. I'm just drawing her hair. <laughs> Let's talk about where to go from here. Maybe we should find out Mew's story. Good call. Here you are. Enjoy. I see. So all three of you have formed a close bond, each bringing something different to the relationship. Still, you must be at least a trifle worried. Hmm? What if she steals Master's heart away? She's a charming girl, and he clearly cares for her. Yes, he does. I want him to be surrounded by people he cares about. But I'm special to Hajime. If she tries to steal him, then she will fail. And so will you. Please! I have no desire to challenge you. So long as he continues his rough treatment of me, I'll be content. Pervert. <laughs> Poor thing. You got separated from your mother? Must be that gang of slavers Lehman was talking about. They were probably planning to sell her off at some kind of black market auction. Who would do something like that? A real shithead, that's who. And it's starting to sound like this city is full of them. So what do we do with her? She's all alone. Our best bet's gonna be to leave her with the city guard. Dealing with lost kids probably falls under their purview. But... You said the merfolk were protected. I'm sure they'll take good care of her. Understand, Mew? We're gonna take you to some nice people who will keep you safe. They'll look after you and make sure you get back home where you belong. But big brother... Trust me, it'll be better this way. <gasps> no! Hey, no. You'll be fine. Please don't do this. I want to stay with you. <laughs> Big brother, are you leaving because you hate me? You don't want the Mer kid to die, bring us the bunny girl. Otherwise, her death is on your hands. Oh no! I've gotta find her! I'm coming with you. These fools are my enemies now. <laughs> what a lovely day this has been. <laughs> to familiar presence. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? What are you two doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Isn't this a bit much for a date? Master, have you been embroiled in some sort of thrilling debauchery? We saved a little merfolk girl from a bunch of slave traders, but they took her back again, meaning they've sentenced themselves to death. Uh, where's the girl now? That's a good question no one wants to answer. We tried torture, but we still haven't come up with any solid leads. So we figured the best thing we could do would be to make an example out of all the gangs involved in this awful child trafficking business. We could use your help. He's discovered something else he finds important. If you wish for aid, Master, I can't deny you. What she said. Good. We'll break into two groups and search for her. You ace with me. Let's be quick about this. Where the hell are they? Boss!
going on? Go check it out right now! Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we interrupt? You guys make me sick. A trade that victimizes innocent children. I must admit, I'm quite perturbed. <laughs> Hell is too good for you! <laughs> for a second. for you to meet Yue. She's my lover. Huh? No fair. You're just so cute. Plus, you have been very brave today. You should be proud. <laughs> What's going on? Wait, don't tell me. I bet you said something mean to me. I don't bully little girls. Feel free to take your frustrations out on me. Shut it, masochist. <laughs> oh yeah, that's our pervert. Her name's Tio. Ignore her. Big brother, thank you for saving me. Yeah, sure. But hey, how about we drop this whole big brother thing now? My name's Hajime. How about Papa? No, no that's worse. Hajime will do just fine, unless it translates to Papa and Merfolk. <laughs> Papa's just Papa. Why would you call him that? Well, because I don't have a Papa, but I can promote my big brother. Uh, this is all making me very uncomfortable. I know I have white hair, but I'm still 17. Okay, what about Dad? On second thought, big brother works. Let's go with that. Just stop implying I'm your father. No! Don't be so mean to me, Papa! <sighs> Ajume, I want a baby. Oh, yes, me too, please. Cruel master, I too am prepared to conceive. Let's not stall the procreation any longer. The only thing that's stalled is your brain. Why am I the only one you're admonishing?
she goes. She's as loud as ever, but at least she's out there instead of in here. But up and it's rabbit time! Vroom, vroom, vroom! Ramming time! you how to ride it later, but for now, sit tight, okay? It may seem like he's being mean, but he's worried for your safety. Such unexpected tenderness! I can't contain my excitement! <laughs> Big Sister Yue? Big Sister Tia is breathing heavy again. Yeah, she's very sick, and there's no cure. thinking about the past. It's only been four months, but it feels like years have passed. You the guild leader? Hmm. Yes, indeed I am. The name is Loa Bawavis. Here, we've got a letter for you from the adventurer's guild leader over in Furin. Thank you. Oh, it seems to be an introduction of sorts. Hmm. It sounds like you folks went on quite a rampage. There was some structural damage. Hard to believe. I've never heard of a group capable of destroying an army of 60,000 and devastating an entire criminal underground until now. But I've never known Ilvair to lie on another's behalf. <laughs> Urgent message! There's a demon in the labyrinth! And just who the hell are you? <sighs> Nagumo, do you know this man? Wait, Nagumo? Is that really you? You still gotta burst into a room to be noticed, eh, Endo? Well, it would seem you two know each other, but I still don't know you. Wait, weren't you with the hero party that came through earlier? I... I'm Endo. Uh, are... are you really Nagumo? I'm sorry, you seem different is all. Like, your appearance and stuff. Yeah, well, I clawed my way up from the pits of hell. So of course I changed a bit. Changed a bit? More like a lot. But you're really here. You're alive. I can't believe it. <gasps> Wait, are you telling me you were strong enough to get through the whole labyrinth alone? Pretty much. Then you have to help me! We need to go to the labyrinth now! They're all gonna die down there! <sighs> Everyone is going to die! <sighs> Something's not right. We've explored so much, so why haven't we encountered any monsters yet? Maybe it's the floor we're on. It could just be that there are no monsters down here. Koki, hmm? I think we should head back. Why is that? <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this place. We ought to consult Captain Meld before moving forward. I understand, but... Hey guys, this is monster blood, isn't it? <sighs> There's not a lot of light down here, so it's hard to tell for sure. There's a ton of it, and it looks fresh. Be on your guard. Whatever monster did this is strong. You think that a monster attacked another monster? Not only that, but it's hidden its tracks. <sighs> if there are only tracks in this area, that means it didn't have time to cover them up. Uh, that or... is a trap. <sighs> hmm. 
A demon? You there, in the ridiculously shiny white armor, you're a hero, aren't you? Have you ever considered changing sides? What? Change sides? What are you saying? I'm asking you to join us. Never! Your friends are welcome to come too, if they'd like. My answer isn't changing! What a shame. It never hurts to ask, though. One of your friends has already said yes, after all. There's no way that's true! You won't fool us! I wouldn't be so sure. <gasps> I think anyone would agree I've given you plenty of chances to cooperate. The monsters can have you now. Shizuku! Suzu! Fade and protective light! Turning tide in heaven! Divine intervention! Looking tired. 
tired. Want to rethink your answer now? I'll never give up! You haven't won this yet! Limit break! Oh, light, make my will sharp as a blade's edge and slice through my enemies! Blinding edge! By mine eye, all that is known to my enemy shall be shut closed, and all that will remain is their cold impending demise. Let my enemies be crushed. Return to the earth. Crashing jail! <gasps> Taniguchi, we need protection now! Got it! Enemies of God may not tread upon his domain! Hallowed ground! for anyone else to get here. You've given them a chance. They figured out a way to retreat by now. So I have to get back and help them escape. No way. I was followed. Quit feeling sorry for yourself and stand up. Quick to the surface. Don't just sit there. Go tell the guild leader what's going on down here. But what about you, Captain? Destroy the circle when you reach the other side. We're protected with our lives. But tell the people above about the demon before it's too late. Stand up! Do your duty! <laughs> now witness the strength and resolve of the Highland Kingdom Knights! All I can do is survive and send messages. Pathetic. she says and accept her offer. What the hell are you saying? Hiyama's right. I don't see any other way we get out of this alive. No, you can't be serious. Uh, I just don't want us to die. Is that really such a bad thing? We can't trust that she'll let us live. Listen to yourself. 
She's been after us since you said no! If we keep running, she'll keep on killing us! I say it's time that we try something else! Even if we can't trust her offer is genuine, it's the only chance that we have! The most important thing is that you do whatever it takes to survive. <gasps> Captain Melt! We were selfish, asking you children to fight our war. I'm sorry. Captain Maldo! some idea of what that might be. Nakamo, they're your friends. You'd do anything to save your friends, right? They're your friends, not mine. Huh? I'll give it to you straight. As far as I'm concerned, you guys are strangers. We're from the same world, but that's it. Nothing more. What? Just in time, huh? 
What the hell just happened? <sighs> Kinda nice to see the two of you are still getting along. Still good friends. Good for you. That's Hachime! Uh, wait, you can't be serious. Uh, I, hold on. I don't understand how. This is just insane. I can't believe you're standing there. No, really. What the hell is going on? Damn, calm down. You're supposed to be the cool and collected one. Remember?
Sounds about right. My high-level magic meant absolutely nothing to you. Are you sure you're really human? I definitely used to be, but not anymore. You're some kind of monster. sentimentality of last words. So how about this? You tell me how a demon like yourself got a hold of all these monsters. Then you can tell me what the hell you're doing down here. Those can be your last words. Give me one good reason I should talk to you. <laughs> well, let me tell you what I think. I think those monsters of yours were created by a form of ancient magic. 
And there's only one way to gain the ability to use ancient magic as far as I'm aware, so I bet you demons cleared a great labyrinth. <laughs> Looks like I'm right on the money. Tell me, did you really think you were strong enough to make it to the end of hell? It's starting to make sense. If you were anything like them, then your monstrous appearance and inhuman strength would check out. Anything like them, huh? <laughs> so the monsters were given to you by the person who actually did the dirty work. Well, that answers all my questions. If we're done here, then shut the hell up and end this already! I thought you'd never ask. One more thing before I die. My lover will hunt you down and kill you for what you've done today. <laughs> Demon or god, I don't care. I'll kill anyone who comes after me. But hey, if your lover's just a puppet like you are, they won't be able to touch me. <sighs> Nagamo, don't do it! It's over! She can't fight us anymore! You don't have to kill- <sighs> Shia, how's Captain Mel doing? If we'd gotten here any later, we wouldn't have been able to save him. I gave him the holy water like you said, but are you sure that was okay? It's so rare. Yeah, he's been a big help, so I'm not gonna let him die on my watch. Hajime! Oh, hey, Yue. Thanks a lot. I couldn't have done it without you. some holy water, so after a little rest, he'll be fine. Oh, thank God. I thought for sure we would lose him. <clears throat> I thought we lost you, too. I'm so glad you're alive. I missed you. I couldn't protect you back then. I'm sorry. Seems like I had you pretty worried, but, uh, I clearly didn't die and I'm here now, so there's no need to apologize. Or to cry. Oh, come on. Don't cry, okay? Projecting your weaknesses onto me. That's not what I'm doing. I'm only saying what anyone else would be saying if they were in my position. That's always been kill or be killed in this world, and I'd rather be the one doing the killing. You got a problem with that? Yeah, of course I have a problem with murder! I kill anyone who makes me their enemy, anyone who stands in my way. I don't show mercy, and I don't discriminate. <laughs> I don't care if we were classmates. I won't hesitate to kill you. <laughs> you. But don't get the wrong idea. I don't think of us as classmates or friends or comrades. I came here because I owed Shidasaki a favor. Once I'm gone, I'm gone forever. Papa, I'm hungry 
Can we get something to eat? We sure can, princess. We'll get whatever you want. We'll find something yummy. Yay! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, um, so we gathered a force to help you guys in there. We never expected it to be over so quickly. And the contents of Ilvar's letter were so unbelievable, we just... Uh, oh, boy. The heroes have returned unscathed! The battalion dismissed! This is who Hajime is now. But has he really changed? <sighs> okay. Uh, what's up? Wish me luck. I'm gonna do it now. Good luck. Hajime! I was... I was wondering if you would let me come with you. I mean, I'm coming with you! Huh? You don't have what it takes to join us. What do you mean, what it takes? Are you trying to say I don't care enough about Hajime? I bet I care about him more than you. Woohoo! <laughs> A contest of wills! I love you, Hajime. <laughs> Shidasaki, I'm afraid I have feelings for another woman. I can't reciprocate yours. It's Yue, isn't it? Yeah, so, uh... I'm still coming with you. I know you can't love me yet. But one day, you will see me that way. After all... There's no one in any world who loves you as much as I do. I, uh... Come with us, then. Please allow me to show you how wrong you are. I'm looking forward to defeating you. I accept your challenge. Let's have a fair fight, okay, Cody? Don't cry when you lose to me, all right? <laughs> I think my eyes must be playing tricks on me. I could swear that I see a thunder cloud and a lightning dragon forming behind you, eh? Look at the two of them. This will be quite an interesting journey. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you about this Papa business. Is this girl really your daughter, Hajime? Shia Saki. So who's the mother, Big Shot? You, eh? Shia? Don't uh, tell me it was that uh, pervert. Uh, Cody, uh, calm down. Uh, uh, she better be the only one. Is she? How many women did you Is it really okay to bring her with us? It'll be fine. We're the world's strongest, right? <laughs> Shidasaki! We're leaving early tomorrow morning. Don't be late. with me. 
Anyone who tries to stop me or gets in my way is my enemy. And I kill my enemies. Men, demons, even if they happen to be gods.